Welcome back, or welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Kathy, as you probably already figured out, and this is a, a all things Parkinson's video. It can the good, the bad, the ugly. I said even days that I'm not doing so well, I still want to film, and I want to try really hard. My goal is to keep them all less than ten minutes, because I know that I don't sometimes want to sit and watch long videos. You know, I just have a few minutes. So today, what I thought I would talk about. Mainly, I know my family especially thinks I take a million pills a day. So, I kind of wanted to go over that. I really don't take that much medication. I, I don't think it's that much. But, I have, I know it looks like, it probably looks like a lot. But I don't take anything that's life-sustaining, which is good. Which means there isn't anything here that I couldn't stop taking that, I mean, it wouldn't, it probably wouldn't be pleasant, but I could go off any of the stuff. So, what I've got for Parkinson's, and I have had it for... Uh, 11, mm, I don't know, I'm good at math, 2011 to 2000, we're 20, so what's that, nine? Nine years. Yeah. <coughs> dur, dur, dur. <laughs> nine years, yes, I've been nine years diagnosed anyway. So you start out with, you know, three pills a day, and we all, we pretty much are all on the exact same thing. Anybody that has Parkinson's, you're on this medication, you are, trust me. Maybe a different form. These are the yellow rounds that I've been taking since day one. Carbidopa, levodopa, it's called. It's the replacement dopamine for the brain. Not quite as effective as like um, a diabetic um, takes insulin because their body, their pancreas, makes, no, pancreas, I think, no longer makes insulin. So they take insulin, whether it's a shot or a pill, or some people control it just by di glucose. dieting, which is awesome. Glucose, right? Yeah. Glucose, yeah, I think. I don't, I'm not diabetic, so I apologize. Mm -hmm. But um, the replacement dopamine doesn't work as slick as that, but that's kind of how I tell people. So the dopamine in my brain no, no longer produces, or it produces a very scant amount. Um, so I need to replace it. So then you take the uh, carbidopa, levodopa, which like I said, pretty much every parky nationwide, across the world, whatever is on. This is just a generic tablet. I don't know what dose it is. Some of them, I even do a half if I need a boost if it's just not quite doing it for me. I joke about being on overdose, which I shouldn't joke about because it's not true. So I get those, and these are like backup. I don't take a lot of these really, not a lot. What I have is a newer, a newer version of carbidopa, levodopa. There again, but it's a capsule, and it is what's supposed to supposed to be special about. Whoa, I'm forming all over the room after I say how special they are. I'm gonna throw them all away. Um, what's special about these is they are extended release. And it took a while for me to be able to get these because they're, of course, when they're new, they're very expensive and it wasn't going to happen. I could, just couldn't pay for it. But the manufacturer hooked me up with a, a, I don't know, deal, a blessing. So anyway, yes, these are capsules and I take two every four hours. So it was really not, in the course of a day, I take two, mix it every four hours. Occasionally, uh, my family will see me take one yellow and one of these I don't technically have enough of these for the overnight hours, which is kind of weird. And my neurologist knows about that, but we've never quite addressed it. So sometimes I just mix things up a little bit. And he know, he's given me permission to do that because he knows that, he says, your body, you know, this is very short-lived in general in the body, the carbidopa, Anyway. Trying to show you personal information. Trying to show you personal information. So people can't refill your medicine. Yeah, you need to, you know, be showing all my pills. Everybody knows what a pill bottle looks like. Anyway, these are the capsule. I, what's special about the capsule, the right, right, and it's right hairy or right hairy. I say right hairy. Um, it's supposed to, the idea behind these is there, when you swallow it, there's little beady things in it. Oh, you kind of eat them in applesauce, too. Uh, yeah. Yeah, if things get really ugly, you can, uh, my family can open these up and put them in a spoonful of applesauce and I can get them down, now, no matter how choky or how bad I am. It's gross, but... Anyway. Yeah, and the yellows, I've, so I'm desperate to the point where I can be, like, in a supermarket and I can put one on my tongue dry and actually eat the darn thing and they're, they're horrific, but that's desperate times. Um, anyway, but there's, but the idea behind these is the beads that are in it, some are supposed to digest the minute they hit your stomach, so it's supposed to be your quick acting. And the rest of these somehow, some way, the stomach acid is not supposed to bother them and they're supposed to digest work longer. I don't understand that at all, but I take them. I also take, 
Resegula, uh, Azelect, it's Resegulene Generic Azelect. I tell only take half a day, once a day, half a day. That's only half the dose. The, the full dose made me really, just made my stomach feel weird, so I don't, I couldn't take them all, but this, it's a small pill, but I only take one a day. I can't even see it. <laughs> it's too small. It's tiny. Um, the, the idea behind the Azelect is the Azelect works different than the good old Carbidopa, Levodopa. This doesn't affect um, movements so much. This is was more to prevent the disease from advancing quickly, supposed to. <coughs> Does it work? I don't know. But I take it. Um, I take a happy pill. Uh, very common with go along with Parkinson's, unfortunately, a little bit of anxiety and a little bit of depression. Who wouldn't be depressed if you had the gift that keeps on giving that is Parkinson's? Uh, I am on, I guess I call them my happy pills. These are Lex, Lexapro. I take one a day of these in the evening. It makes me tired, so Doc says take them at night. Same thing as the last one. It's just a teeny tiny little pill. I'm going to take one a day. Yeah, I can't even say it. It's too small. No, well, one a day. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's a teeny tiny little pill. I take those once a day. And those do seem to help me. I don't feel, I don't feel like I'm as wacky crazy and, I don't know. I feel like they help me, so take them. Um, anything else in here that has to do with Parkinson's? This is an antiviral I take once a day. It has nothing to do with Parkinson's, but anything you can do to keep your body on an even keel. Don't keep want the nerves. coronavirus. Yeah, there's no, I don't want the coronavirus. Um, I am on a good old pill. It's been around since like, you know, the 1960s. Um, doctor has me taking it all, all the time. I don't take the, the fake leak. I don't take that because she thought I had enough problems with Parkinson's that I didn't need hormones coming in and messing things up even more. So she just says, just take it all the time. You're 51. You Can you get pregnant? Who knows, but whatever. I don't want pregnant. But it's not that time to talk about that. I <laughs> know. <laughs> um, other ones in here, I don't take. I don't know why I still have them. I have the Ambien Sleep Aid that is like two years expired. Yeah, they're expired in... They expired in 2018. You can tell they're old because the labels are different. Yeah, the, the letters are like wearing off the labels. I don't take them anymore. I don't. I used to have to take these every night and I just got... I, I just swing myself off of it. So be it. I sometimes I don't sleep real well, but so be it. And this is from when I had my shoulder surgery two years ago. So, yeah, I, I'm, I just, you know, I can't give it up because, anyway. These are my, this is the bucket of pills I got. We get these awesome things at Dollar Tree. I got a whole bunch of them, and we made a medicine cabinet out of a kitchen cupboard. Labeled them up. And so, I'm like, how sad. I have my very own bed now. Um, but you what I have for every day. You didn't show the pill splitter. What? You didn't show the pill splitter. Yes. The pill splitter. Oh, the pill splitter. Who? Everybody. <laughs> yeah, I have a teenager coaching me. The pill splitter. Ooh, it's very exciting. The pill splitter. Because, you know. Not sponsored. Sometimes I just take a yellow tablet and bite it in half and it tastes like crap, but I do it. Sometimes I use the pill splitter. This was my mother in law's. It's really special. It's not like an antique or anything, but. I don't know. Maybe it's not special. special. Maybe I shouldn't joke about something like that, but. It was hers, and I got it, and I kind of needed one, so I kept it. Anywho, this is how I handle my medicine from day to day. A little pill tower. It's kind of cool. I found it at Walgreens. I'm like, okay, I like that. Come to these little cases. So then I get everything in here that I need. For This is for a day. So this there's seven in here, so you got your whole week. So I, I take this tray, sit at the kitchen table, and fill all these up, and then I'm done for the week. So the only, only one I marked was the AM only because there are there is a different a few different things to take in the morning but yeah, I'm not going to show you all this but I mean it's in there this is everything it's in my purse all the time you when I'm at home it's in my purse and except at night I put them on my nightstand kind of but yeah I've got all my my bright is in there and all my little yellows are in there and this just goes with me in my purse everywhere I go if I'm for some reason not carrying a purse I would just couple tablets and stick them in my coat my pants pocket I don't know whatever got some hidden in the glove box don't you don't leave home without them and you guys all know what I'm talking about you do not want to leave home without these because you can't move if you don't have them movement disorder so anyhow I don't want to get too much into that but I know we're, we all kind of get curious about well, what do you take what do you take what do you take what do you take so yes I take carbidopa levodopa and Azelect is supposed to slow it down, and I take currently Lexapro to help with the uh, anxiety, etc. The rest of this has nothing to do with Parkinson's, so anyhow, I gotta wrap it up. And short and sweet, 
If there's anything you're really interested in or you have questions, believe me, I'm an open book. If I'm pretty much okay to talk about anything. So if you have a question, um, join, get signed, uh, click on like. That's what you're supposed to tell people. Subscribe, click on like. I, I want to see some back and forth. I'd love to get some question and answer going. That would be awesome. Until next time.